what can you expect when being on TRT for 10 weeks? You know, testosterone replacement therapy can be life-changing for some, but many people ask the question, at what point will they start to notice the benefits or the differences? What are the expectations or what can you expect at 10 weeks from starting on TRT? And we'll have more after this, so keep watching. We ask that you consider watching until the entire video because in today's video, we're going to be discussing what to expect in the first 10 weeks of TRT treatment when you first start. And this applies to both creams or injections, basically adding in exogenous testosterone replacement therapy. What can you expect? And I'm with a special guest, Dr. George Teleatos here at the NEC. He's an expert in TRT, biopathologist, author of two books, former bodybuilder who's here with us today. So hi, George, good to see you. Hello, Michael, glad to see you. So this is a, a question we often get asked is, when can I expect, when can I expect results? Well, I, I ensure my patients that within the four weeks, one month, as soon as you get optimal levels of both total and free testosterone, uh, first of all, the self-esteem, the cognitive function, the self-confidence, uh, the sharp thoughts, okay, uh, will appear and the better sex drive, of course. And gradually, the body, the body composition will improve and will follow up. Okay, so gradually. So in about four weeks, you see body composition improvements. After the first four weeks, after the first month, but initially, sex drive, self-esteem, cognitive function. They do come back more quickly, you see. Absolutely, yes. Those are the questions if you want to break it down. You literally resurrect from the death. But there are different stages, and we know there are certain studies, like bone density can take nearly a full year to improve. Gradually, along with the resistance training, as the body composition improves, you increase muscle mass, you lower the adipose tissue and the visceral fat, along with training and proper diet, of course. And if you come to TRT and you've got low hema hematocrine hemoglobin, then testosterone can be a benefit, and that will increase within three months. It improves stamina and endurance and fatigue, of course, yes. But that level will also rise, so we, we watch for that in blood tests. It will rise. Dependently, some people are not prone to elevated EPO. Some people are anemic, uh, you know, as um, hypogonadic. And some people are uh, of normal hemoglobin, even hypogonadic. So it's up to the person. So that's, that's something to consider and, and watch. So the other expectations are, now you've got some patients, not many, but a few who will have an expectation for their libido and their erections to come back overnight. And sometimes this happens, many times it happens, but there are some patients that may take a bit longer. What do you say to that? Yeah, they have high expectations and uh, we shouldn't mislead that testosterone is the wonder drug becoming um, a porn star, okay? So we need to know that this is 100 or 200 milligrams the most. It's not half a gram of what actors are using. But like some of our other doctors have said that testosterone or libido or sex drive is multifactorial. Libido... It, is a, is, a, is a matter of testosterone, which is a cerebral hormone, as Morgenthaler says, meaning the urge you want to have sex and in intercourse. But having sex is a matter also of erotic dysfunction that is a blood flow to the cavernous bodies of the penis that directly related with endothelial dysfunction, insulin resistance, and atherosclerosis. So somebody who does not have a good blood flow and certainly needs the 5 phosphodiesterase inhibitor drugs that increase the nitric oxide, Cialis, Levita, or uh, Viagra, they need those drugs because the blood flow is not proper. So you may have the urge and the desire to have sex, but yet your penis is not responding. Okay, so that's, that's one. And so it takes a bit of time. It takes PD-5 inhibitors to improve. Yes. Then there's libido, the desire to have sex. Yes, this is low, the low libido, low sex drive is lack of testosterone. I'm not care about sex. I don't care about sex. It's like what for bodybuilders face right after the cycle. Yeah, but there are some men on testosterone treatment, occasionally, it's rare, who still don't have sex drive. Sometimes free testosterone, which is the real deal, is blocked by, the, by SHBG. Sometimes elevated prolactin 
can give you anorgasmia. Sometimes uncontrolled estrogen can affect the duration of the erection because many people start having sex and after five minutes they drop. This is a problem to maintain, you know? But maybe sometimes it's not related to testosterone alone. There's stress in your life, you know, there, there's what's going on in your mind. Absolutely, yeah. You cannot have sex after working 12 hours like a dog, okay? You're, you're not machines. You know, you may, you know, maybe you've had lots of sex, but you think you should have even more. And also, sex is a matter of sensation. You need to smell, you need to fantasize, you need to taste, you need to see. It's all the sensations that participate in, okay? Yeah, that, that's very true. And so, I mean, I think where we're going with this, and where I'm trying to go with this, is that sometimes there are expectations that are out of kilter. So we're not saying TRT is going to make you a porno star. Of course. I have a I have few patients out of bodybuilding that abuse half a gram of the stuff, and yet they do not have sex drive. Okay, so more is no better. I'm having a great uh, libido and a sex with 100 milligrams of testosterone. So, yes, in the first 10 weeks or three months, you should see a gradual improvement in uh, health and wellness. Some, sometimes the lifting of brain fog. We need to talk about that. Some men who are really low and hypogonadal may have uh, night sweats. Is that not true? Or hot, hot flushes. Before they start TRT, these are normally correct. And I've also uh, heard of men who have difficulty not falling asleep, but staying asleep. Staying asleep because it's linked also hypogonadal to insulin resistance and pre-diabetes. So you cannot, you, you spike, you elevate your glucose levels that cause lethargy. How about anxiety? Now this is a popular one. And anxiety, yes, and low testosterone equals higher cortisol. That means you cannot manage the stress situation. They are antagonistic. And those people with low testosterone are very easily irritated, but they're not aggressive. They're very edge, edgy and irritated, okay? Touchy, I would say. Fair enough, all right. They respond uh, in an uh, uncomfortable way to stressful situations. Fair enough. I think one of the things to, to let us know in the comments is, you know, what are your expectations if you're considering TRT? Are there certain expectations that you have? You know, I think we'll answer those in the comments if people leave those. And also to the, the purpose of the video is to kind of let people know that you know, by, by month three, in the process of TRT, you'll, you'll have a blood test, usually between six weeks and three months, to see where your levels are, right, in the, in the first 10 weeks. And then by month six, which is beyond the 10 weeks, uh, we'll be getting a full comprehensive blood test so we can look at the blood to see where you are. And if need be, it's not uncommon to make adjustments after 10 weeks, is it? Of course, yes. You need to work by evidence, by uh, thoroughly blood work. But I want to give the message that testosterone is not a villain, but it's a friend. It's not a monster, but it matters how you use it. What differentiates the drug from a poison is the use. The use. I want to say that being lean and having a six pack gives you more confidence in order to have a, a good sex drive with your sex partner, okay? La rather than being ha la of low testosterone and flabby. Well, that's a good point. Makes you an alpha male and gives you more confidence and self-esteem. And so we should say that by 10 weeks. Well, according to the diet and the, t and the training, but after the first month, you see improvements in body composition. Fair enough. Okay. Again, your testosterone is not uh, a drug to be glorified. Testosterone has many, many uses. And, and having the right mindset and the right expectation of what testosterone can do can lead to a much more successful treatment uh, when you are on testosterone, this way you kind of reduces the worry. If you know, look, you know, um, I'm not going to be having sex every single day necessarily. I might, but I might not, and that's okay. Or, you know, things take time. And some men, it could take a whole year to get better. So we'll try to do follow-up videos on this topic. But um, I think that's a good place to leave it for now. And for everyone watching, you know, do consider subscribing and letting us know any comments or thoughts you have about this video or your own experiences or your own uh, fears and expectations around TRT. Hi, I'm Mike, and if some of you don't know me, I'm the founder of Balance My Hormones, the leading HRT and TRT clinic in the UK where we provide a one-stop shop using evidence-based research for hormone optimization and where we support men and women on their journey to optimal hormone balance through coaching and other support services. If you're new to TRT or HRT, you may want to follow the channel and don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you next time.